again, everyone. Today I am here with a bunch of Ackerman inks. So a couple of these, well actually three of these, have already been swatched and I had already previous to a more recent order that I made. The recent order that I made from Ackerman inks directly from the Netherlands was another bottle of SBRE Brown which I had a bottle before, but I really don't want to run out. And I it seems to be available off and on. So I went ahead and got a second bottle. I rarely get a second bottle of inks, but uh, that is my favorite brown. I, I think I, had, I can say that. <laughs> um, and so I ordered another bottle of that and then two more inks. And then I brought out all of my bottles because this uh, Vorhaut Violet, I think is how you say it. I, I'm not entirely sure, but this was from a prior order. I think the prior order where I ordered the SBRE brown, but I'm not sure. Actually, I think I ordered this one direct from Ackerman and the, the other one was from a uh, local online order, local meaning the United States. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the samples that I've already done for SBRE Brown and this violet color. And then I'm also going to swatch these two new colors that I got. Um, so those of you that don't know, you can order directly from Ackerman Inks in the Netherlands. And they always package it in such a beautiful little packaging. It each of these is in a very secure box and they always wrap it with wrapping paper, which makes it kind of special. And then they always include some sort of treat from Holland. Um, this time they included some hard candies that were coffee flavored, that were delicious. Uh, <laughs> and then last time I ordered from them, I think they gave me Stroopwafels, which are also really good. So it's always nice to have sort of like a little special little packaging. So one thing to note is that they do have fairly high shipping, but the inks themselves are fairly inexpensive. So I got three inks in one order, and I think that it probably would have been about the same had I purchased the bottles of ink with free shipping somewhere here in the U.S. because they sell their bottles of ink cheaper than they do here. So uh, just something to keep in mind, because I know that they don't often come in stock at local shops like uh, Van S. Uh, Van S. Pens. And then uh, where else have I? I think Lemur Inks also carries them, but a lot of them have been out of stock lately. But let's go on to the new colors. So my new colors are uh, Hoppy's Brun, Hoppy's Brown, I believe, the color of hops <laughs> which would be in beer I think that's what this is and then this is an indigo color uh, I think it says Ost or Ost indigo and it's Lan Van New Ost indigo I don't know I, I grew up hearing Dutch because my mother is from Belgium although she spoke with the Flemish dialect of Dutch um, but I never really learned it. And um, it's not something you really need day to day <laughs> here. And I don't really keep in touch with my family in uh, Belgium. So I don't have a use for it. But um, but I, I, I know the sound of it <laughs> when I hear it. All right. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, swatch these. But after I've shown you the two other colors here. Um, I should probably zoom in for that. So um, for those of you that don't know, this is my regular swatch book that I put all of my ink, fountain pen ink swatches in. So I'll put a link to the video that has this setup in it. And today I'm going to be using this automatic pen, which is a 3A automatic pen. And there is a link to where I purchased mine in the video that I'm linking below. I get a lot, a lot of questions about the automatic pen. So I thought I'd start off with that. And then this is just a Moonman version of a glass dip pen, which is actually made out of plastic. I will put a link to this as well because that is not in my original video. Uh, this has been great as kind of like a beater, beater glass pen because it's not as fragile as my regular one. So those are the tools that I'm going to be using today to, to make the swatches. But let me go ahead and show you the other colors, which I believe are on the same page. So this one is the violet. Actually, let me... Uh, zoom in so you can see these a little bit better. So this one here is this violet color. 
and it's a beautiful deep violet and I actually have already done the water test on this it's not it's very water soluble but uh, it's a very dark violet that turns out almost black when you're writing with it uh, if you have if you have it in a broader nib there you can get some shading out of it but it is fairly dark and then this is the beloved SBRE brown down here and I just love it. It's a beautiful reddish brown color. I think it leans probably towards the orange side of brown. And uh, you can get lovely shading pretty much regardless of your nib size. Uh, at least I've been able to achieve that. It also depends on your paper and all of that. But it's a lovely, lovely brown. So I'll actually be very interested to see what this new brown looks like compared to this. So I'm actually going to keep this page bookmarked so that we can come back to it and look at it compared to the other, which means that I'll probably put that new brown here so that I can kind of do that kind of thing to look at them compared to each other. Um, and then I, I have sort of an awkward setup here where I have two random spaces on different pages. So I'm going to try and make that work today and fill up those random spaces. Um, part of why I want to do that is I do want to cut back my ink purchases just because I um, First off, I have an entire Ikea drawer filled with inks, and then I have some bottles like this, which don't fit in a drawer on my table. And, you know, basically I have more inks than I could possibly use in a lifetime at this point. Unless I, I start doing art with them, which I might do, especially with some of the inks that don't particularly, that I don't think work very well in fountain pens, um, which may be fodder for a whole other video. But um, I'm trying to cut down my ink purchases. And as of this, I don't have any pending, well, that's not entirely true. I do have one bottle of Diamine ink. Everyone's been telling me it's Diamine, not Diamine. I get it. <laughs> the ones where I'm saying it wrong are the older videos that I had as sort of a backlog. But I do have one Diamine ink coming. But other than that, I think I don't have any more um, inks coming. I'm not going to say I'm never going to purchase any more inks because that would probably make me a liar because you know how that goes. But um, I am going to try and cut back just because I have so much ink to use as it is. And I tend to be kind of a collector if you haven't noticed. <laughs> and this is actually a family trait that I get from my father's side of the family. My, uh, my aunt on his side uh, collects, has like a whole room full of dolls that she collects. Uh, my brother is also a big collector. He collects like bobbleheaded dolls and video games and that sort of thing. So it's, it's kind of a sickness that we all have. And <laughs> my father collected art supplies and guitars and things like that. So, um, so I'm, fa I'm carrying on the family tradition, but sometimes it, it becomes a little bit obsessive compulsive, but, uh, I, I feel like, I try to keep it within the realm of things that I use, but you know, I'm probably stretching that definition a little bit. But all that said, let's go ahead and go on to the ink samples. So I'll show you how these lovely bottles work. Let me get that in the frame here. So um, essentially there's two parts to the bottle. So there's this reservoir here, and then there's a separate little reservoir here, and there's a marble right here. So when you tilt it over, the marble, oh, maybe, yeah, yeah, so the, the marble moves down and then this area fills with ink. And then when you put it down, the marble closes off this area so that you have a little ink reservoir here. So that's where I'm going to be pulling from. And let's see, I'm actually gonna put this bottle of ink on a paper towel because sometimes when you do that before you um, open it, it, I'm, this is gonna be off camera, sometimes it, because it is so full, it leaks a little bit, but I did not have that problem. Yay! <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and start with the automatic pen and do the swatching. So this is that Hoppy's Brown or Hops Brown. Yeah, that's lovely. And it seems a little lighter generally than the SBRE Brown and definitely has a little bit of a different shade but still lovely. And I have a bottle of water off to the side here too to rinse off my tools. And that came off really, really easily off of the automatic pen. And let's go in with the dip pen. Okay. 
See, this is a lovely brown too. So this is Ackerman. And let me close up the ink bottle and I'll get the full name here. So this is Alpes Brun. Lovely. And that seems very unstaining, if that's a word. So let's see if we can go ahead and, while it's drying, do that little bit of comparison here. Let me move back. So here is this SBRE brown. So yeah, so this is definitely a darker brown. This, I would say, probably leans maybe even a little bit more orange. Um. But overall, I think this one is just very deep in color, but it looks like you've got a lot of variation here too, and it looks like a little bit of shading as well, which is kind of nice. So there, I mean, see, you're, you're here you're getting some really dark shading. And here, this, this is also gonna be very water soluble, but I'm not gonna do the water solubility test today. Um, I generally like, oh, I haven't done it for any of these on this page. These must all be fairly new. Um, I try to wait a little while before doing it because if I do it right away, some uh, inks that are actually not water soluble will look water soluble if you go ahead and do it right away. This, you know, it probably doesn't matter because it truly is water soluble, but in any case, I'm still going to wait a little while on it. And I just take a little bit of water on a paintbrush and um, just brush it over this bottom part here. And that's also nice because you can see how light it can get as well with the water. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So I'm trying to have this dry a little bit because I don't want to lay down the previous page um, with this being really super wet. But let me go ahead and put that bottle off to the side. And indigo, so this is an indigo and it's probably going to be a little similar to other inks that I have purchased recently like this one, which is this linen toolbar indigo. Um, so it'll be interesting to kind of compare those two colors. But um, indigo is one of my all-time favorite colors, uh, not just in ink, but in paint as well. So let's see, how wet is this? I'm thinking I'm going to still wave it a little bit. And I don't like to edit here either and, and just do that because then, you know, I feel like by staying here until it dries, you will kind of see how long it dries. And uh, this one actually is drying pretty fast because it's not um, it's not super staining or sheening. Like a lot of the sheening inks sometimes take a little longer to dry. This area is still a little bit wet, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this paper here, this blotter paper, and then have sort of a light touch on this side with this indigo. Okay, and then so same deal. So we'll turn this bottle upside down and then right side up. And then that little marble is in that area so that you have a separate little reservoir. Ooh, then that one did leak. So I'm glad that I had a paper towel here. And see, it looks like a lovely dark indigo. There it is. And luckily I do have some paper towels here to sop that up. Let me make sure I've gotten all around the bottle so that when I put it away, it's not going to, clearly there's a lot here up at the cap. So when I put it away, it's not getting indigo ink everywhere. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a little bit more cleanup after I swatch here. Yes, lovely dark indigo everywhere. Make sure that's not going through to the table. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. Oh, that's actually a very lovely shading indigo. You can actually get a lot of variation in there. And I would say that this indigo runs more true blue than uh, say that other indigo I was just showing you um, on this next page, because that has a little bit of green in it, whereas this one seems more true blue. Okay, 
<laughs> the more the more I look at my hand, the more I find more ink. So trying to keep that kind of under control. All right. And then we're going to do the glass dip pen. And again, this is Ackerman. And this is, let's see, it's a, got a long name, so. Okay. Yeah, that's actually very lovely and very different from the indigos that I already have. I would say that this is more of a, um, like I said, a true blue. Okay, and I'm going to cap that bottle. And then I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do an additional rinse down of that bottle so that it doesn't go everywhere. So there's that beautiful indigo. And I think, I think we're all dry on this Hoppy's Brown, so you can see what that looks like dry. And then, like I said, here is that linen toolbar indigo, and it definitely is darker and more green than this one. Lovely. And as it dries, it seems to be getting a little more shading in it. So I'm gonna leave that open there while that dries. But I think that's pretty much it for today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Uh, I will put a link down below to Ackerman where you can order direct uh, from them for their inks. Uh, they also sell pens. I've actually, the, the reason why I initially ordered from Ackerman is I thought that they had the um, Pelican M400 uh, tortoiseshell, the, the white tortoiseshell design pen. Um, and then they end up, ended up being out of stock uh, in that. And then I just got the ink instead or or in only the ink because i was going to order that anyway but uh but the, my experience with them the second time uh was totally great they had everything i ordered uh and the the shipment actually came pretty fast considering it's from europe in the time of pandemic <laughs> so um like i said that's it for you today you can see now that this is pretty dry this is the only area that's wet these seem to dry pretty fast which is nice so if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.